Welcome back everybody, it's easy. Today we're bringing you a clan war recap from Damage Inc. Verse... Well that went by so fast, I don't even know who the hell we are. Oh, oh. Uh, Lion does. That's some, that's some other language, folks. I don't know what language that is. So anyway... This is a great example of why you don't rush to Town Hall 11 or Town Hall 10. Uh, when we first got matched up with these guys, I looked at, I just glanced over at, the, at their lineup and I was like, man, we got a bad mis mismatch. They have 15 Town Hall 10s or, or 12 Town Hall 10s. They have 7 or 8 Town Hall 11s. We're sitting with 2 Town Hall 11s since 6 or 7 Town Hall 10s. And then we started looking at their bases and their troops and they were not very good. So that's why they're that's why we got matched up with a clan that had way more way more town hall 10s and 11s than us because they had rushed to town hall 10 they'd rushed to town hall 11 they didn't have any troops they didn't have any defenses and we squashed them and it's you know it's it's good to win we we, t we three starred every base but two we could have three starred them all but we let the guys uh attack number one and two for the loot um I kind of regret that now because we should have just restarted the whole clan. We, we, we don't get to do that too often. Uh, at level 12, it's not easy for us to three-star the whole clan. A, a lot of clans that we are up against have elite bases up top and it's hard to three-star them. Even our, our Town Hall 11s that are great, it's just hard to three-star a really well-upgraded well Town Hall 10 or 11. Anyway, so the bases that you're going to see us up against, they're not the greatest. But it was a it, this is a good uh, war to show a recap from because we had some great attacks. This one right here was from Genghis Kev. This is a uh, this was a baby loon attack, and I was impressed by this attack just by how many troops he had left at the end. Uh, if you just to go over the attack real quick, the first thing he did is zap quake the back end uh, air defense. Uh, he did that just in case he was going to be light on troops in the back end to make sure that last air defense didn't wipe him out. They have the ki now you don't put your heroes on the outside of the walls, fellas. Come on now, uh, they did, and, and they, they, it's just pointless because you can do a, a hero swap for the queen, and the king is sitting out there with just hanging out, still alive at the end of the attack. Absolutely pointless. <laughs> so uh, I I wanted to show you exactly what we're up against. There's their number one. Well, yeah, that's uh gold walls that we see on that town hall eleven. There's number two, that's Town Hall 7 walls we see there. Uh, number three, number four. So it's not, it wasn't pretty. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know if he was trying to make a little robot or what. I don't know. <laughs> so we had all, all of our guys three starred. It was, a, it was a good show for all of our guys. Because even, even if it's a rush Town Hall 11, it's still, I mean, they still had the Eagle Artillery on most of them. Um, they had Inferno Towers on almost all the Town Hall 10s. So it was still it was still good practice. It was still a challenge. We we had to put you know it wasn't like a farm war where you didn't even have to put in uh, your war troops. You know we still had to scout the bases. We still had to do regular attacks. So on on that side of it, it was okay. Uh, this next attack I believe was from Flex. Uh, let, let me see because I kind of forget. This might be my attack. Yeah, this is actually my attack. This is a uh, I believe this is the Wicked Flex attack. This is one of our uh, one of our attacks that we've built. And or, or this is a version of it and just to go over the attack strategy We'll back up a little bit to the flex because we, we have a couple of attacks that we've built if you if you're new to the channel We uh, one of the attacks that we have created is called the flex one of our one of our guys had had created this attack And it's basically a bowler walk and a queen walk on the on the outside and you try to get those uh, the bowler walk and the queen walk to go around the outside of the base and then you'll put uh, about uh, what we call like a wrecking ball uh, kill squad. You'll put uh, Valkyries, Giants, Wizards, and a bunch of big heavy troops down the middle. Take out the middle of the base. Well, this was a little different. This one right here, we used a, a witch walk to go around the outside on the bottom. And a queen walk to go around the outside on the top. And then we put a bunch of bowlers and some Valkyries in the middle. And uh, use a couple spells to get through the base. Use a jump to get into the core. Uh, froze a few of the defenses once we got to the middle. Uh, the, the bowlers here did a great job of doing the double tap. They got the town hall and the back end inferno tower. As soon as I saw that, uh, you know, I was kind of in the clear at that point. So, just to move on off the attack for a second. So, you're in a clan 
and you you guys are deciding how you're going to upgrade you know a lot of clans are there's engineered clans out there there are all different types of strategies and tactics on how to upgrade and because no one does it exactly the same uh, you don't find clans that just max out and go on I, I i feel like that's the best way to go about doing it we like going up against other clans that have all max bases uh, I would rather fight a clan that's that is maxed out so we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a heavily upgraded clan other than going up to a clan that's either tried to engineer and uh, have low t you know have low defenses and high troops and you know you three star all of them but they three star all of you and it's just uh, that's a mess so um, but to upgrade to Town Hall 10 with Town Hall 8 troops to upgrade to Town Hall 11 with Town Hall 8 defenses and walls, it's a bad idea. Um, what's going to happen is you're going to get matched up against higher level clans and they're going to beat you up every war and it's just bad for the clan, it's bad for, uh, it's, it's bad all around. Um, you know, you can only take so many ass weapons before you get tired of it. <laughs> That's all there is to it. There's only so many times you can get beat up before you get sick of getting beat up. And you're gonna have to start questioning what went wrong and I'll tell you what went wrong you're Town Hall 11 you have Infernal Towers you have Eagle Artillery and you have level 8 cannons and you have level 9 Archer Towers and uh, your your walls are the same walls that you can have in Town Hall 7 so it's not good I'll get off that now <laughs> but you know some these war recaps we don't do a lot of war recaps just because um, I end up getting hung up on on some of these other things. Uh, okay, now this attack right here, this is another baby loon. I showed a couple of these baby loons because these are awesome attacks. Um, now, ever since the December update, where the, the balloons got a little bump, uh, these balloons are just, they, they're epic. They go across the base, they, they drop really, really fast. If you use the right spell composition and, and, and keep those uh, haste spells and keep those rage spells out in front of the balloons, and, um, and there's still a lot of planning involved uh, you have to be careful of the pathing of the balloons if you if you're not careful and you just put a line of balloons in which I see a lot of people do it can be effective but if you're not careful and you don't plan properly the balloons can end up pathing right away from the air defenses and if that happens and you go broadside on the air defenses it's, it sits there and tees off on the balloons and you know balloons are still squishy they may be powerful but they, they go down really easily so you have to be careful in the planning stages and make sure you spread the balloons out enough to where they take out the outer defenses and work their way in and that they don't take out one outer defense and kind of circle and play a little ring around the rosy. You don't want to do that. I'm all tangled up in all these wires here. You know, if you could just see the desk that I sit at with all these wires from the microphone and the headphones and all these different computers. I don't know. It's a mess today. I'm a mess, people. Alright, this next attack, I believe... This was from Romper Stomper, I believe. My memory's terrible. No, this is Wrecked Ralph. Okay, this is actually against the town. This is, okay, I I wanted to show this. This is their best base. <laughs> it's a Town Hall 9. It's almost got, it's, you know, it's almost got all of this Town Hall 8 walls off of it. Um, did, a, did a good lure. Pull the clan council troops, pull them in the corner with, with, a, with a queen walk. And the queen never had to use the queen's ability. Had three healers on it, dropped the double poison. So that made, made their clan castle troops push through two poison spells, which slowed the dragon down. It weakened the dragon. And the queen was able to take out the dragon without using her ability, which that's big. So, and then now the queen is on the, is on the bottom corner of the base. And then he drops a bunch of bowlers underneath the... Uh, uh, Sorry, a bunch of bowlers with a healer on, on the top side of the base. And now what he's going to do is try to enter the core of the base with uh, with Valkyries and a couple more bowlers end up going to the core and a bunch of giants and the king. And he's going to jump into the core, use a, a rage spell, a heal spell, and wipe out the core. And then just come around the outside of the base with the, the bowler walk and the queen walk and try to meet in the back of the base somewhere. He did a good job keeping those, uh, those walks. A really important thing on, on these... Uh, Especially with the, the the witch walk, which you get, mark my words, you're gonna see more and more of these witch walks. I use them in a ton of attacks, 
you try to keep them on the outside of the base. If you use wall breakers and, and bust open the base in front of the witches, yes, the skeletons will go into the base, but the witches may go into the base too. You really don't want that. You want them to stay on the outside of the base. They have decent range, and they have really they, they shoot really fast, and because their damage per second is way more than it was, I believe for max it's like 80 DPS. It used to be like 35. So it's, it's more than doubled. And you get three or four witches teeing off on a defense at one time and it seems like they're shooting faster than uh, a shot a second it almost seems like it's two shots a second so they're just pounding away and four witches can take down a defense really fast you want to keep them on the outside of the base though so great attack by Wreck-It Ralph and this is this uh, Kenny's our number one guy in this particular war um, for those of you that have watched a bunch of videos from us, you notice that we have a bunch of different Town Hall 11s up top. We have two different clans that we kind of switch the guys around in. And so right now, uh, Kyle and uh, Guy is in our, in our feeder clan, Sons of Damage. And Hawkeye and, and KG are in the uh, main clan, Damage Inc. So this is our number one in, uh, in this war. This is KG. He comes in with a Laloon. And um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this right now. Kenny might be the best Laloon I've ever seen. The way he gets, the timing he has on these Laloon attacks is just incredible. Um, I, I've i seen a lot, you know, there's a lot of coverage on this. Uh, matter of fact, uh, Powerbang does a lot of coverage on this. And his guys are just, they're, I mean, he must have 25 elite attackers in his clan or more. Uh, but KG would definitely get accepted to that clan. He's, he's just that good with these Laloon attacks. Now this one here, he ends up now. See what happens is he, they had these uh, the air skeletons. For those of you that want to defend against the Laloon, air skeletons are the way to go. I've seen a lot of really good attacks with the balloons end because a bunch of these uh, uh, air skeletons pop up and they chew away at those balloons, and then you take that in combination with one wizard tower or one air defense, and then the balloons just drop and drop and drop. So keep those air balloons right there next to the air defense or right there next to an, uh, a wizard tower and you'll see that that will really help out your, your balloon defense. But even though uh, he's got defenses left standing, um, still got the king up. He has three, now check out these three, these are like the three hero, um, the three hero baby dragons. They take out the air defense, they separate and as soon as they separate they get into the rage Then they come back together. As soon as they come back together, they lose the rage. So I'm thinking, man, this is such a good attack. He, he pushes his way through the base so well. And he's going to end up dying right here at the end. But just watch what happens. They separate again. They get back into the rage. And now at this point, he's got a raging uh, baby dragon. And a raging baby dragon versus a wizard tower uh, is no contest. The, the baby dragon is going to take out that wizard tower every time. So, great attack by KG. Okay, we are coming to the end of yet another video. So, great war for the guys. As far as the other clan, well, we all know they kind of screwed up with their upgrading. So, they got wiped. Um, that should be a lesson to everyone. Don't rush to Town Hall 11. It's not worth it. For those of you who have stayed till the end, I do appreciate that. If you have not subbed to the channel yet, throw me a sub. We're working hard to try to get to our first hundred. It's a big number for us to get to. First hundred. Before you know it, we'll have a million. But we need a first hundred first. <laughs> so, like the video. Sub to the channel. Till next time, this has been easy. Take care, everyone.